Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. You are joining me in my bedroom. I feel like I have greeted you guys in my bedroom a few times in my recent vlog, so I'm sorry if that's weird, but I just really like how like cozy and there's not a lot of like noise and distraction around, so that's kind of sometimes why I like to chat with you guys in here. I finally am upgrading my bed sheets to like a clean, classic, just like long-term year-round bed sheet and I'm really excited to share this with you guys. These bed sheets are from Brooklinen and Brooklinen is sponsoring today's vlog. So thank you Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. But I'm really excited to share these with you guys because again, like I said, I have been on the hunt for like a long-term every season bed because I recently had just taken off my like lighter linen bed sheets and I just feel like I need something a little bit different for fall and winter, but I wanted something that I could use year round if I wanted to. So of course I ordered a very classic sheet set off of Brooklyn Inn. They are known for being able to provide really, really high quality bed sheets at a very fair price because they're able to cut out the middleman completely and that saves you a lot of money, of course. So I've been super excited to try these sheets. Before I dive into showing you guys these sheets, Brooklyn Inn is giving you a code of $20 off if you spend over hundred on their site and it's just Sarah W20. I will leave all that information down below as well as exactly what I purchased down below. I did get the Lux. It's called the Lux Hardcore Bundle Set. The Lux Hardcore Bundle Set. Wow. And I got it in all white because I feel like you guys know me by now. Like white is just speaks to my heart. I'm not against any colors, of course. In fact, Brooklyn and has like 25 plus colors and they even have like patterns and all that on their website. There's something to me about just like a plain crisp white sheet. Like at the end of the day, your bed looks nice and clean and inviting and just like open. There's just something about a white sheet that I absolutely love. So anyway, but I did go with the Lux Hardcore Bundle, which it's a bundle that you can get off their website. You of course can buy these individually, but if you are wanting to invest in a bundle, it essentially cuts out like 25% of the product price and able to give you all of the pieces at a discount price versus like having to buy them individually, which is nice if you need like a whole set for a whole bed. All right, so let's put these on. Wow, these are so soft. I want to show you guys this really quick. Like a close up of this. So I feel like it's hard to like see on camera. But I don't know if you can tell, like it's like a super soft material. And it has like a slight sheen to it, which is how like hotel beds like make it look extra luxurious to have that like slight sheen to it. And I did just look it up. It is 480 thread count. If anybody is a thread count expert, I feel like that is a really nice thread count. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys like it's it seems to be like a really tough material. And when I say tough, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. It's like you can tell that it's not going to rip easily. Yeah, so it's really pretty. So let's put it on and see how we feel. to steam them a bit but like how nice I feel like here there's some window light right here so you can see a little bit better it's just like a really nice like luxury kind of feeling it's like very soft and smooth at the same time if that makes sense and I don't know this for sure because we haven't slept on it yet but it seems like these would be really good for like hot sleepers but overall like this is like heaven let me back up a little bit more all right, I'm gonna get back to work for a bit. I will update you guys on how I feel about this bedding, but yeah, so far so good. Hey guys, I am about to run some errands. I have been nonstop working on like topic videos on YouTube, like my fall styling haul, the pantry reorganization, 
and I haven't really thought about vlogging lately. So I'm like finally back to vlogging, vlogging because it's like obviously what I enjoy doing the most. But I am still working on another topic video, which is like my um, desk area. I'm like redoing that just to kind of show you how I would make dual screens look as good as you can make them. I feel like dual screens is so hard. I mean, we can all agree that dual screens are never like a cute aesthetic, but if you need them, you need them. So I'm trying to figure out a way to make them like look nicer on a budget because I don't know if I'll have dual screens forever. Hopefully I'll be able to be doing this full time. Um, but for the time being, I just wanted to make it just something that made me feel nice, like made me feel good every time I walked into my office and had to work a full eight hour day. So I, I figured out a solution. I'm excited to share that for, with you guys because it's actually like pretty inexpensive solution. So I feel like it's like a really easy go-to if you're interested in doing the same thing. But right now, the point of me getting on here is I'm going to go run some errands because there's some last minute like styling details that I thought I had ironed out. And then when I had everything set up, I was like, Ugh, I just don't think I like that. So now I'm going to go find a few pieces at Home Goods. So I was going to take you guys to Home Goods with me. And then of course, for all the videos that I film, I need some sort of floral element. So I was gonna go get some fresh flowers from Trader Joe's because I don't have time to go to my usual florist. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, and just to keep us organized, because if I go into Home Goods without any sort of organization, I feel like I just get overwhelmed. So my type A always makes a list. So I really am looking for like a wood object or mini bowl just something like light wood to match this chair that I got from my office. And then I always pick up candles while I'm here. Um, mini styling books like these, I'll show you guys when I get there. And then I was thinking about a bedspread for my, in my office there's a bed, but I'm not really filming that part. So I don't really know if I need that. Nobody's really coming to stay with us. So we'll see about that. And then flowers, I'm actually just gonna go to Trader Joe's, but I just put it on the list. So, all right, let's do it. There's already so much Christmas stuff which I am already shopping for Christmas, so maybe I will take a look. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I really don't need anything like this, but I think it's really nice. Where is the price tag on this guy? He is 150, which isn't bad, it's pretty tall. Cute. Just like not finding anything. All this stuff is like too kitschy. This is like the main section and there's just nothing. I don't know. Let's keep looking. There's a lot of wood to choose from here. Alright, found this on the other side. It's literally only $8. I feel like this could be cute to sit. On some books but it's not light wood which is what I wanted so let's see if we can find something else home goods always has the best clear vases by the way this is I feel like I get asked all the time where I get my clear vases and they're from here like this one I already have one similar but this one is nice Ooh. it's kind of cool I also might have to get one of these. I feel like this could be really cool. It's on like a little platform. All right, I got two more vases. This one I like with the pedestal and I think the um, ripples in it look really cool. And it's um, $12.99. Amazing. And then this one's like super thick and you can tell just like sturdy. Also $12.99. Okay, so my backup plan, if I couldn't find like a good wood object, was to get a wood frame and do a little like Zara home situation with like a mini wood frame. But now that I think about it, I kind of want it even to be smaller. I don't like that.
Hmm. They don't really have a good one that's smaller. This might be my option. We'll see. This one's only six bucks. We'll see. All right, I don't think I'm gonna get this. I feel like it's too rustic. You know what I mean? Is it just me or does anyone else feel like Home Goods is like really farmhouse sometimes? Like what is this blue washed wood? Hmm. This lampshade's kind of cool. Not with this base, I hate that base. But maybe with something more modern. So this is in the clearance section. I think this might be too dark. But still how light I want it. So I think maybe not that. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, like, there was nothing good at Home Goods today. Like, even the candles, I feel like, were, were like, picked over, and maybe it's just because they're switching everything over to Christmas, but I just could not find anything. I did get those two vases, though, which I'm really excited about. I was not needing those, but I'm like, I feel like I'm always in need of just, like, extra clear vases, and those ones were great, and only $13, which was awesome. So I did get those two vases, and then just that wooden picture frame that I may or may not use but I think what I'm going to do because I do need to get those like mini books and I call them mini books because the shelf is kind of small but I just need like some white books to like for repetition along this shelf so I think I'm going to go to Target because I can't find them at Home Goods and I don't really know where else to go I guess I could go I think there's a Goodwill here should we try Goodwill let's try Goodwill really quick we'll just run in and see if we find anything and then run out <laughs> Ooh, it is bright. You probably can't even see that, but like how pretty is that orange tree right in front of the Goodwill? And what I need to find are books that have like the cover on them like this. So I can flip the cover over, but I also want the book to be a lot smaller. Oh, so like this. Oh yeah, see like that's the winner because it's already white. I'll look at this one. Hmm. Score. I don't know why this cracks me up. Is anyone else a Bachelor fan? <laughs> Andy Dorfman book is here if you want it. LOL. Alright, I got a ton of books that can all be turned inside out. So, I'll probably, probably get this. Actually, I really don't need that as the problem. Let me think about it. All right, back in the car. That was a success. I needed all those books and I feel like it would have been like five times the price if I went to um, Target to get them. I think total, I need to count how many books I got, but they were like $3 a piece, so like, very inexpensive and some of them were like half off which is great so yeah i'm really excited about that i feel like books can add so much to decor without adding like a lot of just like distraction i guess it's just like add like a little bit of a texture especially if it's all tone on tone so i'm gonna go home and i think what i'm gonna do is i have a call in like 20 minutes so i need to get home to get to that call and i think tonight i have to get my nails done so i'm gonna go do that tonight and then probably go to target and see if they have just like some sort of wood object that I can put so that it can match the chair that I have because that's like the vision and if not I have that picture frame from Home Goods so I think that's what I'm gonna do oh and I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's tonight as well because I definitely don't have time right now so yeah sorry guys I'll take you guys with me to Trader Joe's in just a bit but I'll talk to you in a bit hey guys we got more love every products in and I wanted to share them with you guys because it's actually really exciting Love Every is now in Target. Um, if you haven't been following me for a while now, I usually, I would say like 80% of the toys that we have, maybe not 80%, that's probably a high percentage, but the, the majority of toys that we have are Love Every toys, and it's because 
Ah, they just make everything so easy. So let me show you these toys because they're kind of cool. And they're in Target, so you literally can like drive to your Target. Or they're, I'll put a link down below. They're not in every Target. Um, but drive to the Target that has the Live Every products and just pick them up off the shelves. And I feel like that's just such a great gift to somebody as well. So they have these products. There's more than these. I just ordered these ones from Target. Shay loves these little puzzles, which I think is really fun. So she has the circles where it's like all circles right here and then she just recently got one that's like um, different vegetables from the garden. But I thought shapes would be kind of cool so I ordered the shapes one because that'll help her learn shapes. These are like stacking cups but they're felt so it's just a little different than the um, hard stacking cups. It's called post and play peg set. She loves putting things into different things so and she likes these little guys that come with like the different like sets. Um, she always grabs for them, so I thought that was kind of fun. Chloe in her car, which again is one of those little peg people, and they have a car. And she's been obsessed with her car that she has from um, Duplo, so I think she'll really enjoy this too. So let me, um, when I pick her up, I'll open these with you, with her, and we'll go from there. So this is what we have. So cute, per usual. Try to get these all together before she starts causing mayhem again. <laughs> but these are really cool because like they can nest inside each other or you can stack them like up on top or you can put stuff in it. Like she loves putting like stuff, I guess like objects in other objects. So I feel like that's like such a simple thing that she just loves. You guys, I, I'm like laughing at myself because today has been one of those days, like you know like at work, if it's just like one of those days where everyone's trying to get something done at one time, but you also have stuff that you're trying to do in your personal life and you're just like, what, <laughs> like today is just one of those days. And I'm just laughing at myself because I'm actually very lucky, like I don't wanna complain about my job at all because like I am so grateful for my job. I feel like it's n usually not high stress. I mean, yeah, a lot of things are pretty time sensitive, but like in general, it's not like high stress. Long story, what I'm trying to say is like, today has just been one of those days where I'm like, oh God, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, but I'm also trying to get deliverables done for like content and stuff like that. So I'm like trying to do all of that at once. And usually I don't do both at the same time. It's like too much and this week has just been too much, but Anyways, what I was gonna say is I um, didn't vlog the other day, but I ended up going to Target and finding just this small like wood bowl. And it's actually, it was actually just like a, I don't know, like a salt bowl that you can like put on your table, like one of those tiny mi mini ones. And I think it's gonna work in my office, which I'm so excited about. So check that off the list. But it's been two days since then. And I finally am going to get some flowers so that I will film this tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday and my daughter's in daycare on Thursdays. I literally cannot film it when she's home. So if I don't do it tomorrow, I'm gonna have to wait like a full week and I just like don't wanna do that. So I'm going to get flowers. Yeah. 
All right, you guys, I am in a very fall mood. So I got two options. The first one. The first one are these, it says witch's broom, which I don't know what that actually means in real floral terms, but look how cool these are. They're like a deep, almost like, it's like a brown black that has a tint of burgundy to them. They're really cool. And I just feel like these in a round, short vase could be super cool. Like cut off the stem, you know, and have it kind of just like organically in there. I think could look really cool. So I'm going to think about that one for a second. And these ones, I kind of hate that they just say fall accents on them. But they look really, really similar. But like not as grand, I guess, to the protea flowers that I've gotten from my florist and so I wanted to try these ones out and they also look very fall like kind of moody and dark so I think I'm going to keep these ones tall in the vase and then probably cut these ones down and put them in a shorter vase and then I'm back on this goodwill book thing I'm going to show you guys how I I mean it's actually pretty straightforward I'm just going to flip some of the pages over so it's white basically just a bunch of white books and then we'll take them upstairs to the office so let's do it Just so you guys know, the total for one, two, three, 15 books was only We've turned all of the covers out. So it's just one big stack of white books. I'm gonna move some of these up into my office and then use the others on the shelves around my fireplace because I feel like I could use some books there. I feel like books in general are a really great way to add like a little something to a space that you're trying to style without like adding a bunch of like knickknacks, if that makes sense. So this just kind of like in my mind looks good. So. I'm really excited about these. I, I wanted to show you, I, there is one book that was just white. And sometimes I put, sometimes I put them forward like this where you just have like the, I don't know what that's called, just this um, part showing. But this one is already white and sometimes I'll put it on the shelf like with this front part showing. Cause I think that looks good too. So I just didn't, I just threw away the cover for that one cause I'll probably keep it out like that. But, all right, I'm gonna go try and style a few of these up in my office. Okay. I like them both. I actually think I like this one a little bit better. What do we think? Also, these just came in. And this was, Taylor's mom got me some money for my birthday, um, which I'm so grateful for. So I ended up ordering these UGG platforms they're the Taz platforms and I was looking at the mini the UGG mini platform but I don't know I just kind of liked the look of this better I know you're probably shocked because this has like color around here but I just feel like these look in general have I like the style of these a little bit better I did order these ones off eBay because I feel like they're so sold out of everything on regular stores also skin farms in this and I saw other people opening up this on their stories so I already know what this is but I'm really excited about it So they have this product and it's called the clarifying pads and they've just updated their, I guess, formula and what goes in it. So they're calling it crystal clear clarifying pads. And I'm really excited because apparently this new formula is really amazing. So I'm going to start using these 
Well, I still have my other clarifying pads. I wonder if I should finish those. I might finish those and then start with these. Because I believe, I don't know this for a fact, but I believe this one's replacing the other one. But I'm really excited because the new formula seems amazing. And I didn't realize this was in here, which I'm so excited about. I wear just this plain black hat all the time. So now I can have one that has skin form. Love it. Thank you, skin form. Okay, so I put them up. I don't want to show you the whole dust situation because... Well, I want to do like a reveal on my office space like video, but this looks so much better to me. Did you get, did you make this? Can you show us? Oh, there's so much drool. You guys, I'm about to cook dinner and I have to get on here because I can smell them from here. These flowers that I picked up yesterday, these ones right here, smell so bad. Like, I don't know what it is. It just smells like sour almost. So I moved him to this corner because I'm like, oh, well, well, we'd be sitting far away from them. Like when we sit on this couch, it's not like we're right next to them. So I'm like, oh, that's a fine spot because I like the way they look. I can smell them from inside this kitchen. <laughs> I'm like, ignore, ignore all that. I'm trying to redo my shelves. So I'm like doing the dishes and I'm sitting here like smelling these flowers. Like they do not smell good. So don't buy these. They don't smell good. So it's Saturday, or I'm sorry, it's Friday and I, we are preparing for a baby shower tomorrow. I am still working today, but. My friend, <laughs> we're hosting a baby shower over here. So her mom dropped off a bunch of um, like gifts and just stuff that we're gonna have over here. And Shay is obsessed with this giraffe. Is that so fun? She's been petting it and laughing for like the last 20 minutes. So now I feel like I need to get a giraffe. <laughs> I know. Also now Taylor's messing with her. <laughs> More? So cute. So we just finished hosting a baby shower. So we still have balloons, which are actually so beautiful. And it's not like we can give them to the um, mama whose shower it was because how do we get that in a car? So we're just gonna leave them up here for a minute, but Shay loves them, so this is great. But the reason I'm kind of hopping on here is because I just got some packages in from one of my favorite, like most favorite um, home decor shops, a finished design shop. I have a partnership with them in November and I'm like so excited. I just feel like, uh, I've been like waiting for this. So I'm gonna open them really quick with you guys on here, but I'll, you'll see content with that in a different video, but I'm so excited, so. Okay, so the three things that I ordered was the Firm Living Fireplace set, and I have had my eye on this. I know it's just a fireplace set, but I feel like well, number one, we need a fireplace set, so we have one that's like sits out during the winter, and ours is just like a regular, nothing cool about it set. So I'm like, if we're gonna have to have one set out, like the firm living one is so cool. So I like, I really like the shape of it, and I feel like it just looks nice when you have it out with your decor. And so I'm like super excited about this one. It's from Firm Living, and then this is like the main piece that I got in, which I'm also of course really excited about. It's the Anne Tradition table, and it has like the really heavy, like super nice marble base. I feel like this is just a classic table too. Like, I don't know, I just see it in like really high-end homes, and I just feel like it always looks very like minimal and helps all that, like it stands out without being like overpowering, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. You guys know I collect side tables, and I feel like this is like, oh, one of the best ones that I have so far. I'm so excited. And then just a little decor accent piece. 
is this really heavy, like really well-made piece from Menu. Menu also is one of my favorite like home brands. Um, some of the designs that they have are just like so, so cool. It's like minimal, but also unique, like a little bit of like artist artistic, I don't know if that's the right word, but it's a little bit unique, but still keep it like in the minimal category. Um, so I got this bowl as well, because I feel like it adds like a little detail without being like anything too crazy or, you know, you know, anything too crazy. And I just woke up, so this Sunday morning, but I wanted to hop on here really quick and give like a little review about Brooklinen. Shay, hold on. You want to get up there? Some golf balls. <laughs> um, so I guess my first thing is I put the sheets on without washing them. I don't recommend. I feel like you have, I mean, this is like not new for any sheets that you buy. You should wash them before. But I did end up washing them and they were so soft and like really comfortable. I even asked my husband, I'm like, what do you think? And he um, agreed that they were comfortable. But we've been sleeping in them for like three nights now, four nights now, and I really do like them. Like that's something that I would recommend. So I might have to get another set for my guest bedroom because we need something up there. Um, but I just wanna remind you, I do have a code. It's Sarah W for $20 off of your order of 100 or more on their website. So I'll leave all the information down below. And I'm going to end this vlog here and we are about to do just like some Sunday activities. Um, but I hope you guys are having a good one and I'll see you on my next vlog.